We are fighting to actualize Biafra. I pop to Nigerians. NSA. Defense chief. We are fighting to actualize Biafra. I pop to Nigerians. NSA. Defense chief. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, can you stay tuned as I read today's news? The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, on Wednesday said it is fighting to liberate the Southeast from Nigeria and actualize the independent state of Biafra. IPOB was reacting to a statement attributed to the Chief of Defense Staff, Christopher Musa, regarding its agitation. In a statement addressed to Musa and the National Security Advisor, NSA Nuhu Ribadu, IPOB spokesman Ima Powerful said, the group was formed to defend the interests of the Biafran people and to champion its peaceful exit from the Igbophobic nation called Nigeria. According to Powerful, the Directorate of State, DOS of the Global Family, and movement of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, wishes to put the record straight, with particular reference to General Christopher Guabin Musa, the Nigerian Chief of Defense Staff, and his fellow unity beggars in Nigeria, that IPOB is agitating for the freedom of the Biafran people and the sovereignty and the independence of the Biafran nation. The very careless statement attributed to the military general, who is without any world experience, and incidentally, but sadly, is the Nigerian chief of defense staff, shows that he does not know the aim and objectives of IPOL. He claimed that he does not know what IPOB is fighting for. The hypocritical army general said that IPOB is fighting for its selfish interest, not for the interest of the people of the Southeast. That's the height of hypocrisy within the Nigerian government circle. They claim ignorance of everything. If the Nigerian government and its moderate security forces claim that they do not understand what IPOB is fighting for, they should ask the international community to educate them. A bunch of vicious and deceptive hypocrites in the Nigerian government cannot deter IPOB's resolve to restore Biafran's independence. NSA Chairman Nuhu Ribadu should know that IPOB is fighting legally both locally and internationally. So the Nigerian government effort to blackmail IPOB through its officials, both civilian and military an effort in futility. As such, cannot stop Biafran agitation. IPOB was formed to defend the interests of the Biafran people and to champion its peaceful exit from the Igbo-phobic nation called Nigeria. 
for an ethnic by God like General Christopher, Goa Ben Musa, to claim that IPOB is not fighting for the people of the Southeast region shows his level of bitterness against the movement. He is just venting his anger on IPOB for forming ESN, which has dislodged and will continue to dislodge their Fulani agenda in Biafra land. The Nigerian army has used violence and high handedness to try to intimidate IPOB into submission, all to no avail. Now, other indigenous people in Nigeria are begging God Almighty to give them a group like IPOP. The current strategy of using social media to demonize IPOP is dead on arrival because IPOP is the people and the people are IPOP. The Nigerian government using the military and police to harass and intimidate Biafrans not to publicly support IPOB in Nigeria doesn't mean that over 95% of Biafrans are not fully behind IPOB's agitation for Biafral independence. Other ethnic groups in Nigeria are also in support of IPOB. If the Nigerian government and its general think that IPOB is fighting for its own interest, let them fix a date for a Biafra referendum as demanded by IPOB to prove their claims. IPOB is a non violent, freedom fighting movement seeking Biafra independence from a prior state called Dizu, Nigeria. <laughs>